Okay, so part two. I knew I would be super, super chatty. So my one-year post-op is actually tomorrow, and I feel like it was sort of good because seeing her yesterday, it's funny, I made the video a few days ago, and I was like, things are fine. Like, I, you know, don't feel like I'm dieting, which is true. I, um, you know, I'm super maintaining, and my weight loss is super slowed, and I'm in the 160s and whatever. And then, like, looking at some of the comments, Donna, um, you know, of like, don't start carbotashing yourself, don't, you know, it's weird, I don't want to, I don't know, I mean, I'm not like so conflicted, I don't want this video to be, you know, oh my god, I'm in like emotional turmoil or anything, but going in and talking to her, I was like, okay, well, what do I want to be like in here? And going in to see her, one of the questions that I had was like, should I like, you know, should I just go on a hardcore diet for two months, get to 158, which is my goal, and then kind of relax into like, oh, I'm maintaining, I'm maintaining. Um, or should I just, you know, if this takes two years, let it take two years. And as soon as I was like, should I go on a diet? She was like, no, 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 no. I mean, when I think about what my goals are, my goal is to weigh 158, whatever. My bigger goal is to go to the gym really consistently and have that be just really effortlessly kind of integrated into my daily routine so that I go to the gym, whether that's the elliptical machine, whether that's the yoga studio, whether that's like a half hour walk at lunch, you know, whatever it is, I'm working out. I want to work out every day. I'm going to do something for 30 minutes every day um, and just have it be really effortlessly integrated into my routine. That is such a huge goal to me. And I want to be eating healthy, and what I mean by that is not ending any meal where I feel guilty, where I feel like, ooh, you know, I ate too much. I don't want to feel like I eat too much when I'm done eating. That's the hugest thing to me. And I want to be able to eat a caramel apple and not feel terrible. Um, and that probably means eating less of it, eating them less often, but I don't want to have in my mind, like, this is a good food, this is a bad food. So those goals to me are, like, way huger than being 158, and I feel like even if I not, don't feel like I'm on a diet, talking to her, it's clear there's so much diet mentality still in me, like, weighing myself all the time and beating myself up about, you know, not getting to goal and seeing other people get to their goal weights and healthy BMIs faster than me, sorry, I'm really hot, I'm going to take off my sweater, um, I don't know, it just like got me thinking, and one thing that she recommended was um, this book, Intuitive Eating, which she said is really great, and it sort of, you know, talks about working, it has some exercises in working towards like a more neutral um, attitude towards food and kind of breaking the diet mentality, so I think I'm going to pick that up this weekend and read that, and then she didn't recommend this but I was thinking about it, and maybe it definitely won't happen, but what if I put away my scale? <laughs> what if I, you know, took a break from the scale? And I was thinking of, like, six months. I feel like one month sort of isn't enough, because I think if I don't weigh myself for a month, I'm just going to get nervous, but I'm going to think about, like, okay, in a month, I want to lose five pounds, and I'm going to be, like, dieting towards that, you know, weigh in, the official weigh in, blah, blah, blah. Whereas, like, six months, I have no idea what I could lose in six months. Like, five pounds would be great, you know. I'd love to be 165 in six months. Um, but then I, like, freak out. Like, I got really excited, and then the thought of actually doing that, when I got home after work, I weighed myself. Before I went to bed, I weighed myself. This morning, I weighed myself. You know what I mean? Like, the thought of actually putting it away for six months is terrifying, especially because, you know, watching other people's videos, like, people are gaining a few pounds, um, and I am here to be super supportive, but it also, honestly speaking, freaks me out to see people who have been really successful gain weight, um, because, oh my God, you know, what if, what if I put away this deal for six months and I gain... 15 pounds. Like, what if I put away the scale for one month and I gained 15 pounds? Um, and I feel like maybe that fear, that freaking outness about putting away the scale, 
is a sign too that I need to put away the scale, you know, take a break from it. And it's interesting because when I was doing the cognitive study um, after talking to my nutritionist, there was the PA, the physician's assistant who was doing the study with me, was talking about how she had lost a lot of weight, not from surgery, but from whatever. And she does yoga every day and she feels like, you know, it's so, that sort of has been the thing that's like connected her to her body. And I feel the same way about yoga. I mean, I do it twice a week now and I feel like, you know, I did it this morning actually, seven to eight. And it just is so nice to spend an hour with your body and be like, this is my body. This is the shape of my body. This is how much my body can bend and move and what it feels like. Um, is this light weird? No, I guess not. Um, I'm sorry, I'm so badly, you guys. And what if I put away my scale and what if I only had my genes to tell me if I was gaining weight or losing weight? And what if I only had, you know, my downward dogs and my upward dogs and my boat poses to tell me if I was getting leaner and more flexible and stronger? I mean, I feel like that would be a good thing, you know, but then I freak out. I think it would be a good thing, but then I freak out. I don't know. My big goal for my six months was to lose 100 pounds, and I made it. My big goal, doesn't it seem like I'm so washed out in this video? I'm sorry that I'm being so distracted by my own crazy reflection. Um, my big goal with my six-month post-op, I didn't super have one, um, or I'm sure I did. I'm sure it was like get to 150 pounds, and I failed. Um, you know, kidding, kidding. But I lost 20 pounds in the second month. In the second six months, I, you know, ran for 20 minutes, which is awesome. I took up yoga, and I do that really consistently now, which I feel like is awesome. Um, I've lost 20 pounds. I mean, I feel like that's awesome. I'm in a size 10. Great. But now I'm sort of thinking, well, what, you know, I don't, it's not over, obviously. N not even just that I'm not at my healthy BMI, but, like, in the way that it'll never be over. So I feel like, well, what is the next thing that I want to do? I think maybe my next thing will be to get away from the scale. Tomorrow is my anniversary. I feel like I want to think about it. Post some goals. I think that's what I'm going to do. Think about it. Really think about it. And post goals tomorrow for my next six months. I think I might weigh myself tomorrow and then put away the scale. <laughs> No, no, it would be fine. No, I would freak out. I think it's really scary for me, um, which maybe means the thing that I need to do. What would I post videos about if I didn't have my numbers? You know, if I didn't have my little bits of paper telling me what my BMI and my BMR and my fat percent and my fat mass and my weight, my, you know, everything. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? I might actually be out of things to say now, now that I've talked myself out. But I don't feel like I have resolution. I mean, tomorrow's my anniversary. I'm really excited. I am thinking about what I want to do that will be fun. Um, and I want to make a video for sure, for sure. And hopefully I'm going to have video, you know, my goals in that video. So <sighs> I have 24 hours, I guess, to think about it. Okay, I hope you guys are having a good day. That was my very long one-year post-op nutritionist surgeon appointment. Goals for the next six months to be determined. Bye.